on to Rel Brand. Happy Friday, everybody. Good morning. I'm Judy Sue. Yay, we made it. Yes. Let's begin with the first alert weather. Here's meteorologist Tracy Butler. Hey, Trace. We've been counting down the seconds, the minutes, the hours. <laughs> but right now, as we do take a look at our current temperatures, Villa Park now at 45 degrees, Harvey at 47, Oak Park at 47, 44 degrees right now in Lincolnshire, Winthrop Harbor at 43, and Westville now at 43 degrees. So here we go. Just another boring weather day. I'll take it. How about you, Ross? Oh, nothing. A couple of situations involving fires. Of course, one of our lead stories, we've had this extra alarm fire southwest side 46 in Honoree. That has finally been struck, but there's still a lot of equipment on the scene. And then we had another fire on the north side, this one on Jensen and Cornelia, staging at Cornelia and Southport. Four critical injuries in this double residence situation. So that fire is out, but a Still a lot of emergency crews on the scene there. And, of course, the expressways, well, no serious crashes right now. We can take a look. Following this breaking news, Jay. Terrell, the apartment building that caught fire is just behind me. You can see at the white steps there's some people out screaming. He thought there was a fight outside, and he rushed out to see what was going on. We'll keep you posted on the situation. Live from the Lakeview neighborhood this morning, Jay Hernandez, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Jay, thank you. Cause is still under investigation. And a warning for red line riders who might be taking the train this morning. Be aware of your surroundings. Morning rush back on March 29th. And visitation will be held later today for 19-year-old Annette January. Got into Bruder's Bar killing 51-year-old on Hell Ortiz. A heated exchange during a Harvey City Council meeting called caught on camera. From a youth program. There's a warning after a string of burglaries in southwest suburban Orland Park, all in the same area. Tanya Babbage is in the Alert Center with more details. Tanya. Judy, police say there have been three home break-ins and two attempted burglaries that are responsible for the break-ins. Judy. Thank you. And today, marking three years since the deadly Boston Marathon bombings, there will be a wreath-laying ceremony at the marathon finish line. Throughout the day, people will be taking part in blood drives and other community service projects to celebrate Boston's generous and resilient spirit. 70s. We're all dressed for it. Always love. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's here. Yes. Mm -hmm. Sunshine as bright as your gorgeous dress. Yes. Yes. Favorite shade of yellow. Oh, <laughs> love it. Well, good morning. Uh, yeah, we've been working for the weekend. It is here upon us, uh, hours away, and we have a gorgeous day to talk about today. So let's take a look at what so excited for the weekend, but we do have the lake breeze that is going to be with us here into this afternoon. So once again, places like Waukegan, perhaps Highland Park, might get cheated a little bit in those temperatures, even over around Gary. What a huge difference between places like Gary and Valparaiso. So you can see we're going to get some temperatures up around 70 degrees around the area here today. But this evening, you can notice that lake breeze does become stronger. So if you're up in Lake Geneva or some of our far northern suburbs, we're going to see those temperatures dropping during the evening hours today. Our average high today is 59 degrees. Average low is 39. We will go above average today, but not quite to the record, which was 88 degrees back in 2002. Well, right now out at O'Hare, skies are mainly clear. It is 44 degrees. AccuWeather Real Feel is at 41. So our temperatures around the area now, Buffalo Grove at 44 degrees, Hoffman Estates at 43, Glen Ellen 44, Naperville 45, in Elmhurst now 45, Aurora 46 degrees, Joliet at 45, Frankfurt at 44, and 38 degrees right now in Maryville and in Valparaiso. So skies currently are mainly clear around the area. And we're going to continue to see those clear skies. Meanwhile, across the northern plains, showers and thunderstorms that continue to follow the path of the jet stream. We talked about this yesterday, but it is still impacting our weather conditions, the omega block. So shaped like the Greek letter omega, high pressure continuing to reinforce the lake breeze for us. However, we stay high and dry, that's for sure. So our future cast still showing off that lake breeze through the afternoon today. This morning we're seeing a few patchy clouds, but all in all, we're looking at another beauty of a day. Mainly sunny skies, some high temperatures today, well southwest of the city. We'll get up into the mid-70s, but it will be cooler along the lake. Sun setting at 733 today. By the way, if you are going to the Cubs game this afternoon, those temperatures
temperatures are going to be impacted by the lake breeze, so most likely 120 pitch there, and we're looking at the temperature being right around 50 degrees at Wrigley at that time. But over the weekend, how about it? 70s on the way, Ross. News. We did have a situation a little earlier this morning on the inbound Bishop Ford. All lanes are open at the Steel Bridge, but we still have some emergency crews on the scene. I'll tell you what happened. There was a semi towing a vehicle. It was hit by another vehicle, knocked the car that was being towed off, suppo supposedly into the river. So they had a lot of emergency crews out there, including the Coast Guard. Now, they have reopened all the lanes, but still some folks on the scene not causing any delays at the moment. We can take a, a look up at some of the fire activity that is still going on at 46th and Honorary with that three-alarm fire. It's been struck, but they're still detouring traffic as well as the number 4747th Street CTA buses. So be aware of that if you're going to be driving in that area or taking the bus in that area. We can go outside and take a look at the Kennedy. Clues and the most shocking discovery of all. What's wrong with these people? 2020, tonight on ABC. It's, it's almost, almost here. here. Test day. And if you didn't know that, whoops. Next slide, Saoirse Ronan and Oscar winner coming. You kind of look like the Oscar. <laughs> Today at 9 on ABC7. Now, from Chicago, you're watching Terrell Brown, Judy Sue, weather with meteorologist Tracy Butler, and Roz Barron's traffic. ABC 7 Eyewitness News at 4.30 continues. And 4.40 is a sacred text. There was a lot of shouting at last night's Democratic debate. While on the Republican side, all the candidates got together in Manhattan for a big fundraiser. ABC's Lana Zak has the latest. Big at Ted Cruz. Ted Cruz has largely stayed away from the state following his comments on New York values. And he received a chilly response by many who continued their conversations and eating their dinner during his remarks. Lana Zak, ABC News. Washington. And today is April 15th, but don't panic if you haven't filed your taxes. They are not due until Monday this year. That's because this is Emancipation Day, a holiday in Washington, D.C. And by the way, folks in Maine and Massachusetts have until Tuesday to file their taxes because they celebrate Patriots Day. 7 Max, all is quiet around the area now. 47 degrees in Oak Park. Villa Park at 45 degrees, 44 degrees now and in Gary, and 44 degrees currently in Lincolnshire. We are seeing sunshine. Well, once the sun is up, of course, a little bit after 6 o'clock this morning. By around 1 o'clock this afternoon, temperatures will be in the mid-60s, but yes, it is going to be cooler right along that lakefront, Ross. Oh, well, this is turning out to be a long time, but we're just now getting word of a car fire to the far southwest. It's westbound on I-80 near LaGrange. And in northwest Indiana, we're hearing about a two-car crash. This is going to be on eastbound 8094 at Indianapolis Boulevard. No injuries, but they do have emergency crews on the scene. More news, weather, and traffic coming your way after a quick timeout. We'll be right back. Tonight, and the Blackhawks are hoping for a win against the Blues. Here's Jim Wade. It's just it's part of it. You just deal with it. The Hawks feel if they use their speed, they can open up some of those scoring chances. And while experience helps them stay confident, Quinville says we can't feel too good about ourselves. And a good nap right now. He was kind of having fun on those wires, huh? <laughs> right. Okay. 454 right now, coming up at 5 o'clock here for you. Chicago's religious leaders getting ready to... Friday! Hey, good morning, hey. everybody. I'm Terrell Brown. Yeah, happy Friday. I'm Judy Sue. Thanks for joining us. Let's get a first alert weather update. Around the Chicago area this morning, right now, 46 degrees in Oak Park. Elmhurst at 44. Plainfield at 46 degrees, 44 degrees right now in Gary. Well, this afternoon, we're looking at the sunshine. Lots of it. A little bit of a lake breeze, too, by 1 o'clock this afternoon. Mid-60s, but it will be cooler along the lakefront then, probably by as much as 10 to 15 degrees. We'll talk about that coming up, Ross. Found on the Kennedy at the west end, they had the right lane closed at Harlem. They may be a little late picking it up because we can see that it is causing a bit of a slowdown at that location. But other than that, the expressways, tollways, they're in pretty good shape right now. If you're taking public transportation... Ross, thank you. And now to breaking news here this morning. Four people are recovering right now after risking their lives to escape a fire. It happened early this morning in Chicago's Lakeview neighborhood. Jade Hernandez is live from the scene now with more. Jade. Terrell, the fire department is not letting anyone stay inside of this apartment building until they can make sure that it is safe. 
right now. These bomb and arson are still out here. Um, this fire started just before two situation. Reporting live from the Lakeview neighborhood, Jade Hernandez.